Greetings everyone. Good morning or good afternoon. How are you? Welcome to Coffee Break with Tara by Laura. Hello everyone who's joining already. Good morning, good morning. Or good afternoon. It doesn't matter what time it is. <laughs> what matters is that we are here together and ready to go. Today we are going to play with oracles and um, people happen to like this one so much I've been told that they really like the oracle of the great mother so we're going to use that one and we're also going to use the celebration of love and the four agreements. And Dawn, yes, a girl after my own heart. Morning, afternoon, whatever. Who cares? How are you? Kitty, Kitty Black Spennywise there. I think she's from Chile, but I always make the mistake. I already call people from Chile, from Argentina, people from Argentina, from Chile. Uh, Kitty, de donde te unes? Where are you from? I think she's from Chile. Let's see if she answers me. Anyway, oh, the solstice is almost here. Can you feel it? The days are getting shorter and shorter and shorter and darker and darker and darker. And it is almost freaky dicky because it's so dark so early. But uh, I'm ready to celebrate solstice. I really like it. I think it's one of my favorite holidays. Well, not as good as uh, Day of the Dead, of course, but, and yes, Kitty says she's she's joining from Chile. Hi to you and your babies. She just got a brand new baby. Probably like two months, three months. How old is your boy now? I think two months, but don't quote me on that. Anyway, uh, Friday I will be at La Catrina with Colectivo Mariposas doing last minute shopping all kinds of artwork and uh, incredible imports from Mexico. Don't miss that. And then on Saturday, I will be at Grateful Threads Resale Emporium in Oak Park. Um, we're going to have a small ceremony for winter and we're going to be doing, of course, tarot readings. And, um, and today we're going to play with oracles. One of my favorite things. It has become that Wednesday is kind of like my favorite day to do videos because it's oracles and um, I really like how the goddess uh, manifests herself or the god or the divine whatever you call the divine um, through these oracles it is really an amazing thing and hi honey oh my husband is sending me all kinds of hearts I'm gonna blush my honey we have been having a mini vacation because he's been sick he has a cold but he's on the men he's getting better so anyway um let's see what the oracle of the great mother has for us oraculo da gran mai i don't know how to speak portuguese so I'm just trying. May the divine give us the guidance that we need at this moment. And we have Amaterasu. I cannot believe this is Amaterasu today. Amaterasu is one of the very few, very few solar goddesses. If you are, if you follow the, um, if you follow, if you're practicing of paganism or neo-paganism, you should know there are very few solar goddesses. The god is mostly related to masculine energies. However, as we approach winter solstice, see, that's why I love 
this um, work that I do. As we approach winter solstice, the goddess that manifests is the solar goddess, Amaterasu. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly because, of course, it's in Japanese. But I am in awe and I am very, very grateful to the powers to be that we have a solar goddess as our messenger today. And of course, her message is sort of, it's time to recognize her internal power. It's time to recognize her internal power. She talks about illumination, a willpower, healing, a renewal, evolution. It, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, goddess. So there she is. It's hora de reconocer. Nuestro poder interior. It's time to recognize of internal power. That's the message of Amaterasu for today. I should probably just leave it like that. <laughs> it's so amazing. Um, but I promise you at least three cards. So let us see what the Celebration of Love Oracle deck has for us. I'm so excited. My heart is going boom, 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 boom. We have belief, point between reality. And there's a whole lot of dolphins swimming there. Belief, the point between reality. Sorry about all the glare on Instagram and, and YouTube. Let's see what belief's message is. Oh, this is a big one. I need my reading glasses. <laughs> Kitty, de nada. You are inspired to take a challenge you now face and write down or journal the positive outcome of what you would like to see happen. Feel how good that will feel and keep that feeling in your heart for as long as possible. Give thanks for that positive resolution as if it has taken place already. Okay, you are inspired to take a challenge. You now face and write it down. Journal the positive outcome of what you would like to see happen. Feel how good that will feel and keep that feeling in your heart for as long as possible. Give thanks for that positive resolution as it has taken place already. This reminds me of something so amazing as when we were talking about... Um, when I teach how to um, write intentions, because that's exactly what we do, we, we write them as if, as if it has already happened. So there you have it. And last but not least, we're going to pull a card from the Four Agreements of Don Miguel Ruiz. And again, may the goddess, may the gods, may the divine help us see what we need to see. Salucita. Cheers, everyone. And let's see what's the message for today. And we have two. We have two cards. Okay. Out of the four agreements, we have two. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. Isn't that the hardest one? I think that's the hardest one. Don't make assumptions. It is always better to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions until you are as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to a question, you won't have to make assumptions because you will know the truth. Again, learn to ask questions. Do not make assumptions. And it says it is always better to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions until you are clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to a question, you won't have to make assumptions because you, you will know the truth. Kitty, ask questions. Pregunta, pregunta, pregunta hasta que sepas la verdad. Así no tendrás que asumir nada. Solamente pregunta hasta que tengas todo muy claro. 
And the last one, always do your best. Take action on your ideas. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best means to take action. You can have many great ideas in your head, but without action of what an idea, there will be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. This one is like calling me out on my shit. <laughs> Sometimes you feel that the, the oracles and the tarot are uh, really calling you on your behavior. And this one, man, just hit me on the head. Let me read it once again. Doing your best means to take action. You can have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon an idea, there will be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Let me translate to Spanish for Kitty. Kitty, siempre haz lo mejor significa que tomes acción. Puedes tener muchas ideas en tu cabeza, pero sin acción, en una idea no habrá manifestación ni resultados y no tendrás un premio o recompensa. So there you have it, folks. Uh, thank you, Kitty, for joining today because that forced me into translate the readings to Spanish. And thank you, God and Goddess, for I was able to do it very quickly. Um, thank you, everyone that is joining either a little late or at the moment. Uh, Rose, thank you for joining. Chris and, of course, Dawn. And if you don't catch this video from the beginning, do not despair. It will be post it on my page on Facebook. It will stay on Instagram for 24 hours. And of course, it will be on YouTube forever and ever. And uh, thank you, everyone. And as always, you are loved. Good fortune to everyone.